on to number 10, we are going to create a pivot table to show the average value of the art objects by artist. When you're going to do a pivot table, we don't want to work with this one. It's not even a table. We want to go back to the original art objects. It's this material that I want to create my pivot table from. Creating a pivot table involves, one, you have to have your cursor in the table. Two, you'll insert a pivot table. This, usually, you can leave alone. This is assuming that I want to use my table that was called collection here. If you don't see the word collection, then that tells me you either you're on the wrong sheet or you didn't name this collection, so make sure that that's correct. And typically, you want to put a pivot table in a new worksheet. So I'm going to click OK. And then we get this sort of funny looking thing. It looks strange, but it's really quite easy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these fields and we're going to drag them into these four boxes. And so I'll, you'll see how it builds it as we go. But what we want to do is we want to have the average value of the art objects broken down by artist. So we know we need the value. The value, appraised value, is going to go here in this column. This is where numbers typically go. But notice that the computer wants to sum it. I don't want to sum it. I want the average value. So I'm going to click the down arrow. I'm going to choose Value Field Settings. And I'm going to change it to the average appraised value. In fact, I think I'm going to change the heading. I think it makes more sense to say average appraised value. Now you have a number format button here. And I, I can tell you, if you're going to average, you're going to get long decimals. So if you go into the number format, you can choose currency or whatever you know, style you like. And then when we put this number in, it'll look like that. Now that's not too impressive. Right now that's the average value of all of the artwork. But we do want to break this down by the artist. So we're going to drag artist and put the artist in the rows area. And so that runs the artist down a column. And then we're seeing the average value based on each one of these artists. It created a new sheet called Sheet 7. Why don't we go ahead and rename that and call it Q1011 for questions 10 and 11. Question 10 was to create the pivot table. Question 11 tells us to sort it by the artist with the highest average value first. So if we just click here and we go home and we sort from largest to smallest, you'll see that the artist with the highest value is first. So that's your question 10 and 11. Number 12, in fact, let's move this over and put it in order. Okay, 9, 10, 11. Okay, number 12, again, we start with our art objects table. We have our cursor somewhere in the table, and we're going to create another pivot table. So remember, that's insert pivot table. Yes, we're using our collection table, and yes, we want it on a new worksheet. Then we have all of our fields and these little boxes to place it in. Show the number of art objects. So the number of means count. So we want to show the count of how many art objects. And we also want to show the total value by category. So there's two numbers we want in here. We want the count and the value but we want to break it down by category. So let's grab appraised value, and let's put it in here. And the default is to sum it, and that's OK, because we want the total value. But we also want the number of art objects. And so we're going to count the artist ID, because those are unique. So I'm going to pull that down. And I don't want to sum, so I'll double click, choose Value Field Settings, and I'm going to use a count. And I think I'm going to change the heading to number of. That makes more sense to me than count. And of course, we could change the number format if we wanted to, but I think we'll be OK. And there's the total appraised value. In fact, let's change that heading, too. So we'll go into the value, value field settings and change that to total appraised value. I like that. And I'm also going to flip these two. I'm going to put the number of artists and the total appraised value second. OK, and again, remember we're breaking this down by category. So grab the category, 
drag it into the row area, and now you have the category. You have how many pieces we have in that category, and then we have the average value. It would look a lot nicer if these had dollar signs. Now you might be tempted to come up here and to use this number format, which frankly would work. But what happens with the pivot tables, we're often moving these around. And if we pivot or move these around, we may lose that formatting. So we're better off doing our formatting right down here. So I'm going to click on this total appraised value. I'm going to open the dialog box, the value field settings, and I'm going to use my number format here. So I'm going to go with currency, no decimal places. Click OK. Well, here's what they want to do. They want us to include location as a report filter. So this is all of the work right now, wherever it is. If we take location and we drag it into the filter area, that's what gives us this box. And then we can filter and we can choose uh, just the courtyard, for example. And so notice all the numbers changed because right now we're looking at only the courtyard. They ask us to rename this sheet as Q12. And then just good practice, let's get this scooted over in position so that these all go in order. Time to save the file. And that concludes our video.